What is up, Theta homies? It is your boy, Justin Pacetti, back again with another Theta Token video, another Theta Token update. Just a friendly reminder, if you're new to the channel, trying to find as much Theta news, updates, NFTs, or any kind of Theta partnerships, definitely please hit that like and subscribe button, and definitely check out all the links down below in the description. So now, Derek, getting into all the details of what I'd like to do and spread more news about Theta. We're definitely going to start off with the price currently. That's what I like to do nowadays. We'll see how things go in terms of the format. But the current price of Theta is at that 80 cent mark, so a nice little bump as in terms of what it was before and t fuel at that three cent mark a little above almost that halfway point towards that four cent mark of course we got t drop as well as other theta main chain type of links down here below so definitely check out all the links down below in the description but now going on a little bit more on twitter is where we get most of our news we're gonna see that theta network tweeted theta video api continues to advance with the next step in decentralized streaming the edge live streaming in just service so really looking forward to showing you guys what this entails in terms of live streaming as well as using the actual theta video api and really looking forward to how this is going to incorporate for more live streams not only that but other bigger organizations so like when it comes to film news broadcasting things like that is how things i believe things will be utilized maybe in the long run down the long run i believe they may use it for i'm sure movies and things like that but that's more speculation and i'm sure we're definitely a little further away from that but that's one of the goals i believe of how this type of technology will be utilized going on to the actual article itself it's very short read two minutes but i believe this is the reason why it's two minutes is more because of the video that demonstrates on how to use it so seeing here the title that we just mentioned theta video api now supporting edge live streaming and just in service here's a little bit type of information it looks like the live stream from the theta con we do have brian macer rob feldman and behind him we had doc theta right behind them so in terms of the live stream that's how it was utilized i believe so or at least how it is right now going on the little type of context theta video api continues to advance with the next step in decentralized streaming the edge live streaming ingest service this is the first step towards totally decentralized ingest encoding transcoding for live streaming across theta video api and ultimately the world's first end-to-end -end decentralized streaming solution. Here's a little bit of example of what I just mentioned. To definitely mute it just so that nothing gets copyrighted, of course, but it kind of shows you a little bit of the example in terms of the stream and how everything's going to be laid out. You do have the stream server that what they're copy and pasting right now, and then you do have the stream key that is going to be in copy and pasted onto the type of live stream. I believe this looks like OBS is what I'm assuming is what it looks like. And then after you are waiting a little bit longer, you do see the live stream that's currently happening. So then you'll be able to see what you're trying to showcase. So altogether, it looks like the video and everything looks pretty smooth based on this little quick example of how this video is being demonstrated for an example. But it looks like it runs pretty swell. And I'm assuming Theta Video API for Theta kind of is what was utilized from my knowledge. Definitely comment down below if that is correct or not. So or if I'm wrong, I do want to stay updated with all the information, guys. So definitely share your knowledge and thoughts if that was correct or not in terms of what was utilized for Theta kind of, And I do believe that's what it was. Going on to the rest of this article. Until now, Theta Video API tva distributed video via decentralized edge nodes but the ingest service used to upload new videos to the network still relied on centralized cloud services like aws now during the test phase video ingested tva is completely by a group of theta edge nodes currently run by theta labs in cloud instances after testing to confirm the service is working efficiently the tva service will switch to run on theta users public edge nodes allowing edge node operators more opportunities to earn t fuel by providing encoding and transcoding services to the edge network along with edge store decentralized storage decentralized encoding transcoding is a core focus for theta in 2023 and will bring many new opportunities for edge nodes to earn rewards stay tuned for the update soon on how you can use your edge node to earn more t fuel than ever not running a theta edge node yet Join the network today by running your own edge node. Here is a link for that if you want to dive into a little more details about that all together. But I do, this definitely, the other news I'm about to present will definitely tie into this because it does utilize the new type of platforms that are using these type of video and type of platforms. So going on to Twitter again, we're going to see that Theta Ecosystem tweeted validator number 2022 named, not 2022, 22 named. A lot of 22s right there looks like earwormmedia.com the real psycho ko congrats because they are listed right here earworm media you do see the other type of validator nodes that are also labeled so if you want to check out the other links down below like i mentioned and definitely do your own research 
before making any financial decisions, you can look at this right here. The reason why Real Cycle KO is tagged, I'll show you the reason as to why. So in case you click on this link, it'll take you to the website. But I want to go onto their Twitter page. I believe this is the one that is listed because this is the logo when you go onto their website. See in their quick bio, Earworm Media is a Doyle's Town Bucks County, Pennsylvania design studio specializing in websites, design, animation, and comics. Looks like they're relatively new. The reason why Psycho KO and Rob Feldman are utilizing their platform is because they are on the platform. Looks like they're in Pennsylvania. I'm not 100% sure if Rob Feldman is located in there from what I remember. I believe so. The last time I talked to him back in December of 2022 it seems so long ago. Time flies when you're having fun, especially when you're looking at data news. But I believe that is where he is based from what I'm remembering at the time. I think I'm kind of guessing on that part, but we'll see. Going on to the website itself, we're going to see here Earworm Media. We do have his type of platform, Psycho KO, the comic series is on this platform says content creation animation illustration nfts looks like here's the demo reel if you want to dive into that a little bit more a little bit more of their bio says we make ideas come to life we specialize in character based animation from concept to script storyboard animatics character design voiceover and full animation we also have qualified understanding of the emerging technology of nfts cryptocurrency and media distribution for blockchain technology the below is a sampling of our work for higher producing projects. To discuss your project, give us a call or a text to this type of phone number. So kind of interesting. I'm sure it's like a little more of a small market business just because they have the number listed. And it also says give them a text. Every time I think of a company, I never think of a text message. I kind of think of a landline where it's like a service. So it sounds like they'll be able to get back to you pretty quickly, especially if you are legit in terms of the project you are trying to create and well as well showcase. Here's the uh, Earworm Media, says Rob Feldman, as you can tell on the screen here. So scrolling down just a little bit more, it looks like this was a trailer. I'll definitely let you guys play it out. It looks like when I hover over it, a trailer of Rob Feldman's Psycho KO project. It is going to be voiced over by a lot of cast of the Napoleon Diamond. So for example, you have John Heater, of course, the main actor for Napoleon Diamond. And then let's see what else is here. This is Night Animated. Night of the Dead animated and not 100% too sure. It looks like Warner Brothers Incorporated in this. So when I scroll down, you'll see a lot of the trailers that are associated with this platform altogether. But the one thing I would do want to show you guys is that who they're associated with in terms of platforms. So right here, if I can get the right adjustment, we do have clients. As you can tell, Warner Brothers is nice and the first one here on their list. Another one that I mentioned is Rob Feldman. You do have Data Network nicely located right here. Comcast and I believe Webtoon is what I'm also familiar with but altogether that is all I really am familiar with what is listed here but those three names all together of course we're all familiar with data because that's the reason why you guys are watching the video but seeing Comcast as well as Warner Brothers two other big names that are associated with media altogether nowadays in modern day so something to really look forward to not even modern day but for traditional old school classic films that are associated on these platforms it's just something nice to see a little bit of a partnership building on each other especially when it comes to these new video api like i just mentioned in terms of the streaming because who knows maybe you will be able to utilize these new cartoons or live news broadcasts on the Theta blockchain. I'm sure that's the overall goal, of course, what Theta would like to be, but it's nice seeing things are actually in motion. It's nice seeing the clients, maybe, sure, maybe there's no solidified partnership, but it's nice seeing it incorporated here because you never know how you network when you see these type of businesses all together on a platform. I'm sure they have some sort of meetings and discuss with their other clients on which platform can be utilized. And with Theta going on to the bandwidth type of issue, I'm sure Comcast and Warner Brothers is on their list as well as just part partnering all together just like how they're already partnered with Samsung Sony as well as the media platform I believe MGM is what there was so all together guys thank you again for coming back to the channel and really looking forward to spreading for more theta news for you guys if you're new to the channel and trying to find as much theta news updates nfts or any kind of theta partnerships definitely please hit that like and subscribe button definitely check out all the links down below in the description for all the links I post in this video along with my imaginary play referral link if you're trying to earn as much TNT 20 token on the theta blockchain if you're an OG viewer and subscriber welcome back to the channel thank you again for coming back comment down below if any thoughts comments or anything that you like about this video or something from a previous video that you'd like me to look up especially associated with theta but until then guys it is your boy Justin Bassetti so try to keep up height deuces okay,